Hello, beautiful family, lovers of good things, lovers of important personnel all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you for your love, thank you for your support. I just can't thank you enough. So, in this platform, we react to all videos and we give you all the latest updates. In fact, we draw the world closer to your desktop. So, please watch this video and I will be watching it with you. Don't forget, drop your opinion in the comment section and I'll be right back. Biafra people are going to make sure we protect. Religion is a very powerful organizing force in Biafra territory. Communities and across Biafra land. The attack on churches in Odudua land in 2022 has necessitated the IPOB autopilot to commit and to partner in with the faith based community in Biafra land to help mitigate the threat of targeted violence and prepare for potential incident across Biafra territory. We succeeded in making sure that the attack that you see on Yoruba soil did not happen in Biafra soil in 2022. It was as a result of the precautionary measures that was taken by the Biafra people. The approach has worked very well and there we record no attack in Biafra churches, and of course, across Biafra land. Except in few communities where we see the complicit of the Nigeria army, as you can see, the GOC of the two division of the Nigeria army, Enugu, is controlled by a terrorist. It was in Kaduna, and during the time this GOC of the 82 division of the Nigeria army, Enugu, was serving in Kaduna state, we witnessed the highest massacre of certain Kaduna people. Today, he has been sent to Enugu to continue the massacring of indigenous people just the way he did to the Southern Cardinals. And people are not asking questions. We will confront him this year. 2023, he is going to be a target for Biafra people. He cannot be in Biafra soil and kill our people just like he did in Southern Kaduna. And this message today goes to the GOC of Education Enugu. The people that he massacred in Enugu, the people that he massacred in Hamufu will be revenged. We are going to make sure that he paid dearly for coming to Biafra land to massacre our people just like the way he did in Southern Kaduna. We want to tell him that Southern Kaduna may have allowed him to perpetrate this heinous crime and crime against humanity and genocide. But Biafra people, because we provide security for ourselves, we are not going to allow that to happen. What you see happening in the Hamufu in 2023, we will take you head on. It is of no use for Biafra people to panic and get scared because the terrorist is in charge of the HT division Enugu. We want to inform you today that every measures will be put in place to protect our land, including as we embark on a total liberation of Biafra land, step by step, house by house, block by block, bridge by bridge, until we'll see no Nigeria present in Biafra land in this 2023. This is a task that must be done. We were able to succeed because of the approach that we've used last year, 2022, which worked very well. And there were no, we have to took them, we took them ahead of time in neutralizing the terrorists in their various camps in Biafra forest, even before they come to our communities to attack. We were able to neutralize many of them. The communities that witnessed Fulani attack in 2022 in Biafra land were as a result of a sabotage. Both the sabotage within the community and the sabotage from outside. From few political elites, from those communities who invited the military, and of course, the terrorists themselves also invited the military from the investigation we've gathered so far. The terrorists were able to launch multiple attacks on such community like Ihamufu. What we saw in Ihamufu today, in 2023, we are going to adopt a different approach this year. The approach we are going to adopt and the measure we are going to adopt will be completely different to deal with both the terrorists and their sponsors 
and those military who facilitate the attack in Biafra soil. Protecting the house of worship, irrespective of what you worship, will continue to be the number one priority of the Biafra Liberational Movement and the Revolutionary Movement. Protecting houses of worship while preserving their welcoming and opening environment will continue to be our priority in the movement until Biafra exit in 2023 that start today. The current security threat across Nigeria and the incident over the past months has mandated us to offer a range of mitigation or solution designed to achieve a robust and a layered approach to the security in Biafra land. Many which has worked very well, of course. So, so many they may refuse to see that most of the approach so far has worked very well. And that is the reason the kind of attack you see in different parts of Nigeria is not happening in Biafra land. I want you to understand that the biggest security threat today in Biafra land has become the security agent who has mix of Fulani terrorists, mix of Boko Haram terrorists in them, and then with uh, many of Biafra people who also is being used as tools or stooge to these particular terrorists in uniforms. I want you also to understand that the act of targeted violence against houses of worship are real. There are real potentially growing problems in and across Nigeria. And of course, Biafra land is not an exemption. I want you to understand that this particular security threat in places of worship is also across the southern Nigeria and they are targeting more of the southern Nigeria and of course Biafra land. It is going to be stopping it from happening and confronting the terrorists ahead of time is going to be the biggest priority of the IPOB autopiloted Biafra movement in 2023. At the same time, we will continue to push the liberation of Biafra. We have developed a comprehensive security strategy for adoption to the unique circumstances to every church, synagogue, temple, and of course, on other side of religious practice across Biafra land. The reason we are mentioning religions today is because our people are so dangerously religious and protecting this religious that is dear to them is something that we must do to have a safer society. So they must be protected. We also developed and has implemented a security program in 2022 that we are adapted to the need of the individual houses of worship which led to many churches not being attacked today in Biafra land. And I must commend those churches and places of worship that actually listened to the security advices, measures that we suggested for them. My fellow Biafrans all over the world, I welcome you to 2023. In 2023, Churches in Biafra land must continue to maintain their current security measures. They must continue to maintain the new security measures that we are going to bring forward in a few weeks' time. Those who have built the community and made their community res readiness and resilience by ensuring their houses of worship is aware of potential threat, prepared to respond in the event of an emergency or incident connected with the wider community. We therefore call on them to continue to maintain this particular security strategy, especially the Fulani beggars. The Fulani beggars will and must continue to stay 500 meters away. It has been the security measures that were suggested in 2022. 2023, we want churches that has actually adopted these measures to maintain it. That the beggars must stay away 500 meters or at least far away from the church premises across Biafra land. 
Every mega church. Every mega church. Every mega church in Biafra land must continue to maintain their current security measures and make sure their security is stationed far away, far enough from the premises of the church and should question and search anyone that is suspiciously looking like Fulani terrorists because we know our intel suggests that in order to stop Biafra or disrupt Biafra from coming this year, they may start attacking churches in order to uh, divert our attention. We are not going to give them that breathing space to carry such attack in our soil. In addition to the 500 meter security, the churches should apply physical security measures just like we previously advised in 2022. Monitor, protect the outer, middle, inner premises while respecting the purpose of each area of house of worship. We want the house of worship to focus on safety of children. The safety of our children is very important and very dear to be for people. The churches must maintain and focus on the safety of children with security measures to protect our children, especially those in Sunday schools and in child care facilities. In 2023, we understand that the Fulani terrorists, the world fought deadliest, most deadliest or deadliest terrorist group are not resting, especially on their plan and the quest to take over Nigeria and turn Nigeria into Islamic state, being sponsored by powerful nations in the Arab world. We also encourage them to continue to maintain their cyber security, which is the best practices to safeguard important information and prevent potential attack by installing CCTV cameras. They must install more of the CCTV cameras because we are entering a very dangerous stage of this Biafra liberation. And CCTV camera is needed in many of the church premises. These security options that many churches have actually adopted since 2022 will not deter every threat to a house of worship, but comprehensive security approach offers the best solution to protect people's property. And of course, the Nigeria government cannot offer that. All of you know, the Nigeria government does not care for you. The only thing they care is to draw programs like the water bill that is going to give these same terrorists the right to your waterways. And of course, it goes to Ruga, which is the flanization agenda. We are not even allowing them to give them even a British space to talk about the water we build. So fellow Biafrans, every houses of worship in Biafra land should tell all this particular knowledge to the need of their communities while maintaining the open and welcoming atmosphere that makes house of worship, you know, a critical part of the social, of the social fabric of the Biafra people. Your security and your life is very important to the revolutionary movement of Biafra. We assure you that we will continue to work diligently to identify more innovative means through which we can collectively mitigate the risk we face as a nation and in collaboration with our Yoruba brothers and sisters in this 2023 before Biafra declaration which is coming later on this year. Therefore, I would like to bring a video to the screen. In this video is more of awareness to what the Nigeria security agents are doing to Biafra people, to Biafra young men and women. That whenever they want to kill you, they lynch you extrajudiciously, kill you, and then they put Biafra flag on you. I want to inform you today that from today, the first day of January 2023, we will confront every Biafra enemy. We will confront you in your base. We will confront you in our land. We will confront you any place we find you in Biafra land. So, my wonderful family, that brings us to the end of this update. Do it to like the video, share, and subscribe. Thank you, and bye-bye.